Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Nvidia stock and as you saw in the thumbnail of this video, we'll be taking a look at the most important zone for this week on Nvidia and how that would and well, how that may play out for bulls and the bears both but if you are a bull on nvidia then definitely you need to keep an eye on this particular zone that we'll be talking about in this video now also please note that we have semiconductors earnings starting next week well there are texas instruments already they have had their earnings but amd will be the one that is very close to nvidia um will be coming out with their earnings so that will affect nvidia however it affects but that will have an effect on nvidia stock so guys with that please hit the like and subscribe and also please note none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes so starting off with the overall structure first here with nvidia as you can see once we broke that 117 dollars area which is now 117 to 118 dollars uh, right uh, once we lost that area, we have broken to the next zone. $106 target, we came down there. If you know, I have been talking about this all the this last week, that $106 is the one we are watching, and then $97. We got to our, and as I said in my last weekend video, that if not $97, definitely $106, and we got that play. And I talked about all of this last week as well, what type of plays I took, what type of trades I took, and you know my dividend ETF that I'm buying into it. So those videos are on my dividend investing channel. Link to that channel is in the description of this video. So now, yes, so overall structure, guys, is still bearish since the time we broke 128. That marked this activation of this lower pivot of the supply zones. And we have been forming these lower pivots so far. Now, it has been trying to regain 117 to 118 dollars but every time it's just being sell, sold off in the vicinity of that so we are also below 20 and 50 days moving average structure is bearish on nvidia and I'll, i can show you that on hourly interval as well you can see we came very close underneath to those levels here and then we are still selling off right now you ask junior trader well so what is that zone right so that zone guys in particular is zone from 106 dollars all the way to actually it's much more clear on hourly interval let's go back there so this zone is guys from this 106 dollars all the way to 110 dollars almost now as a bull uh, for this week this is the zone of the most importance for you this particular zone and why so so let's talk about that. So on intraday right now, overall structure, as I just showed you, we are still bearish. But what we also have on the lower time frame is a strong demand buying candle sitting over here on NVIDIA. And it technically still has its influence. It's just so big that even though its influence has been used already in this, in this uh, proximity, but just because it's so wide and big it will still have its influence for uh, unless it's used here now i'll talk about scenarios in just a second it's not that if price falls here and you just buy no you still have to see the price action right but so what to look for now let's talk about the bearish case first all right intraday bearish now that would be that if we lose this level of 111 this time this is it right yes i expect a sell-off but right when the sell-off happens all right there, there are stages of it this is a you know flush the reason i'm talking first the bearish case right now because this bearish case can turn into the bullish case very quickly and that is once this flush happens intraday short you can trade but when ever if it could be very same day once price starts to get very close to these uh you know lower wick of this particular candle which would be anywhere 107 and 108 keep an eye on the lower time frame like five minutes interval right let me just take you there and keep an eye because what is the possibility of happening is that um this is where if you start to see like double bottoms forming 
or uh, you know higher pivot starts to form and price has completed also its range for that particular day my dashboard marks my these all the ranges automatically and all these levels if you need access to my tools links are in the description below of this video now and it has completed its range and you start to see double bottom and formation this very area of around down here becomes your intraday long play but please make sure that those patterns are forming and yes this demand zone candle will still has its influence so this week this particular zone if we flush below 1100 oh sorry um 111 dollars then this zone is an important zone for bulls 108 107 around until above 106. I don't expect Nvidia come down here and then just keep breaking. It can happen. And that's why I'm telling you, if you watch the price action on lower time frame, if you see double bottom forming, consolidations forming, you can still play the long bullish case here with the stop loss on the other side. Because if that pattern is weak enough, it fails, you, you get out, all right, below 106. But this is the zone that where you have to watch the price action as a bull. You're like a hawk. You know, you got to be watching this. Uh, area now so gave you the bearish scenario and that may turn into bullish case anytime this week guys if we lose 106 this party is over however we lose it doesn't matter if this week we lose 106 party is over this candle is out and 97 dollars is the target then the next level down there and that's where i do expect a good support as well again then we will again see rebounds there but then I'll also talk about if the overall structure is bullish or not. That's another story, right? These are the zones of trading. Um, and then again, if you, you know, as I have been saying, if you just want to sit back and do just, you know, simple trading. And if you, I mean, I mean this trading is not simple. It's simple when you, once you understand how to trade with the uh, portfolio management, stop losses, how to take the position, where to take the position. So like in other videos i have told you that you can always have a position let's say in the short case on the other side of the structure stop loss and then enter as the structure changes ride the wave take profits in the extensions let the and once you start seeing consolidations get out let the rebound happens take uh, you can short again stop loss on the other side take profits in the extensions right you don't have to be perfect with the bottoms you just you know size out through the journey when the rebound happens now this time we have a structure at 117 right and you can short here right and those opportunities were there with the stop loss on the other side that's also fine it's all about which, which strategy and the time frame you want to trade it with i'm providing you all the cases you can fit in as per your convenience right so definitely the zone is that 106 dollars what if the you know what if nvidia doesn't even break 111 dollars right so yeah, that will be just then from up here, intraday upside can come and if, so well, if this time we start to go up, most likely we'll break 117 or 117 to $118. But most importantly, what you are watching is that um, this time I would say only play long if it also gets above 50 hours moving average. Once it's fine with just 20 hours moving average, but uh, for the next time, if you want to do it, you wait for both 20 and 50 hours moving average let the price get above that and also we got to get out of this uh, one of the levels as well which is 113 it's not that price is hanging around here and then it get 20 and 50 moving average gets down here no it's not a buy yet you have to first also see it get out of this level of existing consolidated resistance of which my indicator has marked 113 and 51 cents and then from here, both above 20 and 50 hours moving average and above the level, you can uh, trade it again just from here long. And then 117, take some partial profits out here again. And if we get above that some more, then that's a structure change actually, then full on. Again, we can continue higher in the structure because that's it's a bullish gain again. Uh, but that's, you know, thing to talk about for uh, the, when the price action develops into that. But so this is how i'm looking at nvidia going into this week guys uh if if yes if <laughs> if nvidia closes a red deep candle let's say one of the days down here does even all right let's go to the hourly interval actually even if nvidia comes down here right and it gets up again as well but it fails to go above 11 111 dollars and again comes back down 
and closes a red candle with the body closing down closer to 106 range, then it's not good as well. Then the next day, yeah, we can break as well. So what I'm trying to say is that, yes, this zone is good, but, you know, intraday, definitely you can trade as for the price section I provided you here and the area to watch. Um, but intraday is the most convenient here on the both sides in this zone. Because if the candle again comes back, price sells off, and then you have a red body closing with the close price closer to 106, next day is most likely going to just flush that one below 106. And once we do it, the influence of this wick or the green candle on hourly interval that I showed you that, you know, um, this, this green candle, right, the influence of this is gone then, right, once we lose the bottom full out not just the bottom but the area of influence which is also from the previous pivot here right it's not out of the blue but and so that's what i'm trying to explain then we lose this area of influence here right so that's the thing um and yeah then 97 dollars is the only savior for it and i think that will be a good savior though because 97 dollars is a strong support here i do expect a rebound here again on nvidia and then we'll see what it does if it does at 106 but uh, which will be into the rebound then we'll see but the yeah um not necessarily that will change the price section to bullish but intraday is you know rebounds can come there but anyways so that's that nvidia guys and if i remove take away this blue box you can see clearly well even with the blue box you can see that it's already broken the structure right the second leg into the structure already but yeah this is already a marked distribution phase now and already it was downtrend was ongoing there and with the break of this though the distribution phase is was complete and then that's just the next leg to the downside right so all right guys well that's it for this video and if you found it helpful valuable please hit the like subscribe and i'll see you in my next videos guys take care bye